This is Dr. Dennis Long, Sports and Regenerative Medicine Specialist. We're going to talk today about hip avascular necrosis. What are the signs and symptoms of that? Well, first let's talk about what is avascular necrosis. Avascular necrosis is an area of bone that has died due to the loss of blood flow. Avascular, loss of vascularity or blood flow. Necrosis, bone cell death. It's also called osteonecrosis. Osteo refers to bone, necrosis, <coughs> bone cell death. <clears throat> this usually will present most frequently after trauma. Problem is, if it's hip pain and trauma, it's hard to differentiate hip pain that's caused by AVN. So sometimes you have to distinguish between the two and that takes time. Other times, it's idiopathic or unknown. It's an insidious osmosis of pain, and these patients may have arthritis, so it's very difficult to tease these out. So a specialist is really needed sometimes to understand that. And I've seen so many cases from all types of AVN, from all different joints and all disorders, from trauma, multiple types of athletes, to corticosteroid use, to autoimmune disorders. But the typical thing is hip pain. So you have to distinguish that from hip pain from trauma and hip pain that's AVN. And hip pain may be a dull ache, it may be referred to the groin, buttocks. As AVN progresses, the bone may collapse and have a destruction of the joint. If it progresses, there's limping and more associated debility, loss of ability to walk for longer distances. You wanna catch this early, especially with elite athletes, because this can be career ending. And that's exactly what happened to the legendary football and baseball player, Bo Jackson. It was not diagnosed early and ended his football career. He was able to play one more year with the Kansas City Royals, but it was a devastating injury and he ended up having a hip replacement. So now with regenerative medicine and stem cells, we can now try to approach this to try to let the body help heal itself.